Hello bros and welcome to Aspect Zero Profile Production and the next part Sakura Succubus 4. So let's return to the story. So uh, I chose um, a pillow. <laughs> Is this gonna escalate into a pillow fight or something? <laughs> but let's continue reading. I grab holds of a pillow and swifter than lightning hurt it at Hifumi. If I may recall it, but this isn't enough to set, <coughs> saturate the use anger. She seizes another pillow and another and hurls them both at Hifumi in rapid succession. Tut tut. Her pillow strikes the target through upon her ample bosom, which makes Hifumi squeak. As if I'd believe you <coughs> that pure. I wasn't born yesterday. You're even a bit, every bit as much as a succubus as I am. I know precisely what you want. You're trying to steal Hiro, Hiro e for yourself while the rest of us is busy settling in. That's so underhanded. Well, I won't have it. If, you, if we're going to compete for his affection, we should at least do it fairly. You, you yes. You, you, you untrust the worthy snake with the pointless huge chest. What's it even for anyway? These melons are massive. Guys might like this sort of thing, but uh, when they get past a certain point, they become nothing but a shore. Yeah. I would say that kind of depends. I mean, uh, girls have the option in this day and age to uh, get them bigger or smaller. And even if they actually get them bigger, they can, uh, when uh, uh, they get older, also just remove the implants and uh, then they uh, smaller. I mean, if they are actually are a problem, uh, I mean, there are uh, millions of, <coughs> of uh, ways to fix that. And I also heard that this day and age they can actually make them so they never get saggy or never slide apart uh, if they actually do implants. They're heavy and uh, cumbersome and they make it hard to find the clothes that fit. Dresses are so too tight on the top but too loose on the bottom and most clothes squish together so they look unflattering. Okay, what the hell is she even talking about? Dresses doesn't have... Uh, it's supposed to be loose on the bottom. That's why they don't or uh, they have no legs. So dresses are supposed to be loose on the bottom and uh, uh, more tight on the top so they don't uh, like slide down. I think Ayu has gone insane. She doesn't know what she's saying anymore. Big chests are so not cute. Tut tut tut. I will continue to her appearance of Hifumi alongside the insults while Hifumi tries in vain to defend herself. One of Ayus throws knock Hifumi glasses as you and they almost fall off her nose, though she is able to push them up in time. Alright, you had your fun, but now things are getting out of hand. You are putting too much force into your throws. If this keeps up, uh, you bur <coughs> burst uh, these low pillows and then here Okusum uh, fill with uh, feathers. I would not want that to happen so if you holds up one hand somewhere there in the room uh, grows thick and uh, yellow. One of Ayu's pillows uh, projectile freezes mid as though caught by an invisible hand. If you close melt away meanwhile to reveal <coughs> her succubus attire. Wings on fur from her back and uh, horns sprout from her head. Her eyes are glowing with the force of her magic and though she is smiling her expression is stern. Please Ayo, come to your senses. let us not fight. You are the one who convinced Lady Yu of the benefit uh, sharing has. And you did promise earlier when we were at the beach that you would try to behave yourself. 
Marina was so very proud of you. I would hate to her opinion of you sour of a silly pick you of jealousy like this. <laughs> Her pouts unfolded and turns away. You just imagine it's the cheap way to end an argu argument. Well, this is better than the alternatives. I wish you try to fight back, throw a pillow in my face, why don't you? I have no desire to do that. Your face is one of the greatest assets being an uh, idol. I would not like to harm it. As if you could. The pillow is no, uh, not bricks. Vad du varit om för de senaste timmarna? Du brukar alltid vara inne när jag vaknar. That may be the case, but when I take things seriously, I can be quite destructive. I fear my magic would uh, augment uh, my throw to a deadly degree. Even pillows can be dangerous if thrown with enough force. Remember, I, I am older than you, and my magic is stronger. I do not want to hurt you. Yeah, yeah. I rolls her eyes. I'm not a weak, simpering maiden, you know. I can look after myself. But I guess you're right. I got a bit carried away there. I don't like seeing you cling to Hiroki, but I got to get used to it if we're all going to be together. Sorry for being a brat. And, uh, well, I'm sorry for throwing those pillows at you, if you may. I hope I didn't hurt you. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. And it looks like the pillows are fine, too. If you may retract her magic spell and the levitating pillow falls to the ground with a soft, in inoffensive thump. <laughs> if you may suck up the tire melts away as though it was never there, her horns uh, wings vanish and her casual attire knits itself uh, new over her body. She brushes herself down, adjusts her hair, then smiles at Ayu. There's no harm done, so you have no need for, to feel guilty. I understand you have a short temper, but I bear you no ill will. Now let us not fight. We both love Hiroki as much as we want. I doubt he will refuse. What do you say, dear? Yes, Hiroki, what do you say? Oh, uh, I guess it's fine if you want to cling to me. I won't push either of you away. The more the merrier, right? I thought you would say that. Fumi smiles and looks at Ayu. Yeah, you see? There's no reason for despair. I may have made the first move, but Hiroko loves us all equally. Nobody shall be left out during this vacation. Now, why don't we put the room back in order? Then we can help Hiroki unpack the rest of his clothes. We shall get things done much more efficiently if we work together. With the vicious pillow fire concluded, the rest of uh, my clothes unpacked, Ayo gives me a guided tour around the beach home. Actually, the thing is, he always sleeps in a bed alone. I mean, I sleep much easier in a bed when it's someone beside me. I mean, I have a hard time falling asleep if I don't have someone beside me. She walks me through the open plan ground floor with the sprawling kitchen and living room, their numerous bathroom, her private cinema and her training room. Of course I doubt you need to come in here, this is where I go when I wish to practice my dance moves. It's more likely you'll be spending your time outdoors. The beach is gorgeous, it's hard to resist. My tour at the end of I leads me back to the bedroom, then wishes me a good night. It's pitch black uh, by this point, almost midnight. I feel drained and it's, uh, with a large yawn I collapse upon my bed. The bed is large, the mattress is soft and, it's in, and it sinks obediently beneath my weight. It feels like I'm being enveloped in the arms of a very affectionate, very rectangular lover. I'm so tired I could fall asleep right now with my clothes still on. Another yawn escapes from my throat, mindful of my manners, I press one hand to my mouth to stifle it. Not that it matters. There's nobody here other than me, myself, and I. <laughs> ah! 
I'm ready to pass out right now, but I feel a bit groomy after my flights. Should I take a bath first? I usually have a bath in the morning. I mean, uh, usually when I wake up in the morning, if I have time for it, I usually take a bath. It's uh, really uh, comfortable in the mornings. But I think after a flight, it's actually probably very beneficial to take a bath. Yeah, I can't really put this off. I feel gross. Upsy daisy. I have myself up uh, with no small amount of effort and slap my cheeks with both hands and spur myself on. Let's do this. It might sound shy, this, but I'm pretty excited to use my ensuite bathroom. It looks pretty fancy. There's nothing like a nice hot bath to ease your aches and pains. I rise from my bed early the next morning by the scent of something delicious. I bet in the patch uh, version you're not alone in the bath. But uh, I won't know that until uh, after I'm done uh, with this Sakura. I always patch the versions afterwards so I can have something to upload to. Well, <laughs> I don't know if uh, YouTube will get on my ass, but you can probably get where it gets uploaded. But it actually removed all of them uh, because uh, now they only have professional stuff there. But at least I will, can just re-upload them and they are actually professionally made. I made enough and intros with music and all to, uh, to them actually being in a professional level. So I'm gonna re-upload them and put them as professional ones because then they have to check them if they're professional or not. I'm rushed from my bed early the next morning by the scent of something delicious. I rise when I wash my face and brush my teeth in my end suit bathroom. Once again in dress, I then descend to the ground floor guided by the mouth-watering smell. It leads me as a shepherd might lead a sheep, leaving me powerless to resi resist. Actually, one more thing about taking baths. <laughs> I always watch Netflix when I'm taking a bath. It makes me able to relax a lot easier. And also, when you're taking a bath, it's not as much hot steam as you, when you're taking a shower. So having an electronic device that ain't uh, waterproof is not a problem uh, uh, when you're taking a bath. I mean, I have it uh, as high heat as possible that I can have without uh, getting burnt. I mean, that's very hot. I mean, what could I... I don't know, no, really, but at least, let's say uh, this, nearly the hottest water you can get uh, from a w normal tap, because the shower tap is actually having a way to get much hotter than that, but for a normal tap, it's kind of that heat that I have a bath in. <laughs> the least as my shepherd might lead a sheep, leaving me powerless to resist. When I arrive in the open plan kitchen come living area, I'm greeted with a cozy sight. <coughs> if me standing by the stove stirring a large pot of miso soup. Is miso soup even breakfast related? Actually I have to look out up that recipe and try to do it. Actually I might uh, I might have the stuff I would need to make it. I would uh, seriously look that up and uh, try to make it. I mean, I love experimenting with food. <clears throat> she is wearing the same casual clothes she wore yesterday with her dark tresses tied back in two untidy pigtails. I guess uh, when uh, the clothes of a succubus wouldn't never need to get washed. I mean, I think they just melt them away and then melt them back and uh, they're as good as new. That's what I guess, at least. A pink shirt is a bit on the baggy side and it's slipping down to reveal an ample amount of creamy white shoulder. Upon her snub nose are perched a pair of glasses. The lenses 
of which are slightly steamy. I seen Hifumi uh, cooking before, but that was uh, back when we were staying in uh, the Ryukan. The interior there was classically Japanese, as was Hifumi attire. Her hair straight and dark, her body and drove in richly patterned kimono. She's giving off quite a different impression now, but it's not a bad one. It's nice seeing you film me like this. Hey, Fumi. Oh, hello, Hiroki. Did you just wake up? Yeah, I'm still kind of tired. I surprise a yawn with one hand, which makes you film me giggle. You must have been in a hurry to come downstairs. Your hair is all messed up. Let me. If Umi turns uh, the heat down on the stove and approaches, she reaches up uh, on tiptoes and adjusts my hair accordingly, her fingertips brushing against my scalp. There we go. She steps back and admires her handiwork, smiling as she does so. You look better now. Very handsome. Thanks. You look good too. When you wear a kimono, it makes you seem like a well-to-do housewife. But right now your vibes are more like those of a kind big sister. A big sister? Well, well. If I'm a giggles. I thought that's not far from the truth. I like to think of myself as an older sister to the younger Sokabi. But I've never been addressed in such a manner by a man. Why don't we try it? Can you call me big sis Hiroki? <laughs> okay, the middle one is that like this. On second thoughts, maybe I call. Uh, maybe Auntie would be better. No. <laughs> but, I mean, I suppose uh, when she dressed like this, she is more uh, looking like a big sister. I suppose. Well. It's never uh, fun. It's always fun to change things up. Uh, one, sometimes, time to time. Should, sure, if that's what you want. Um, good morning, big sis. Ah. <laughs> if it squeaks as though she's been poked uh, with a pin and presses both hands to her cheek, they're starting to turn red. Did I embarrass her? Are you okay, you feel me? Uh, oh yes, I'm fine. I'm just um, trying to compose myself. <laughs> I like being called Big Sis by Cosmos and Ayu though. Ayu rarely plays along the naughty girl, but being called it by you is quite peculiar. In a bad way? No, I go, uh, in a good way. I fear it might have been uh, too good, in fact. I'm all tingly now. <laughs> Perhaps you ought to stick uh, to calling me Fumi after all. Now, do you want to sample some of my miso soup? I think it's almost ready. It'd be my pleasure. If Fumi lad ladles a bit of miso soup onto a spoon, then holds it out to me. I slap the soup obliquely and let its flavor spread across my tongue. It's every bit as delicious, if not more, as the miso soup Hifumi made me when we were staying at the Ryokan. It's rich, but not too rich, and its consistency is perfect. I could get addicted to this. Do you like it? Does it uh, per chance need more uh, seasoning? Nah, it's just right. That is early. Thank you for being my guinea pig, my dear Hiroki. <laughs> It's no prob, so... I glance around the kitchen. Are we the only ones here? I saw Hazel earlier when I came downstairs. She said she was heading out for a jog. I think the others are still asleep, though they should come down soon. Fumi and I chatter together companionably while she tends to the rest of the cooking. Hazel comes back from her jog damp with sweat and some point during our conversation. She greets us both very brightly, then heads up to her bedroom for a shower. She all but runs up the stairs, then slams her bedroom door behind her, which uh, rouses the rest of the succubi. 
Then try and enter the kitchen one by one. First Marina, then Aya, then the freshish, freshly showered Hazel. Cause it's a lot to turn up, uh, but she isn't in her ash or clothes like the rest. She's already changed into her swimsuit. It's rather cute. All by skimpy and it's uh, complete with a pair of cat ears and a tail. I wonder if uh, that get in the way of her swimming. I don't have much of a chance to pound this, however, before Cosmo is uh, upon me, both arms linked through mine. Huh. Hiroki, Hiroki, what do you think of my swimsuit? Isn't it cute? I picked it out just for you. Well, I think, uh, <laughs> well, I'm not going to say what I think, but uh, at least the, the tail and air is a bit much. Well, I say it looks adorable. Yes, it's uh, very adorable. I like all the ruffles. Heh, <laughs> I knew you would. You're a man of discerning taste. Cosmo puts out her chest proudly. The bikini is styled off the maid's uniform. It's got a collar and a ribbon with uh, cute little cuffs and uh, the bottom part is supposed to look like an apron. That's explains why it's so unique. <laughs> they don't have stuff like this in normal stores so I had to order it from a special place online. I think it looks super cute. You would say that. I scuffs. Personally, I think it looks uh, gaudy. And it doesn't even fit properly. It's too small for you. That uh, criticism seems a bit uh, rich from coming from Ayu. I've uh, seen her in a swimsuit before, and that skimpy gold thing uh, she wore was rather from fitting. Form fitting. Comparatively, I think Cosmos substitute made swimsuit fits better. But can't, but catch me trying to antagonize, are you? It's too early in the morning for that. What's with the ears and the tail anyway? How do they fit the, the maid team? If it costs I'm a cat maid, duh. <laughs> Cosmo giggled, uh, then curls her hands into her imitation paws. May I take your order, Meowster? Meow meow. Uh, <laughs> I pulls her face. That's so tacky. Cut it out. You're putting me off my breakfast. You should even be in a swimsuit right now. We're not on the beach yet. I know, but I want to show Hiroko my swimsuit so much I couldn't wait. I have to put it on right now. I want my meowster to compliment me. I call me cute and give me lots of head pals, pats. I'm a good kitty maid, so I think I deserve it. Meow meow. <laughs> You're the most adorable kitty maid ever, Cosmos. I ruffle the top of Cosmos' head, which uh, takes her purr in delight. I mean, wild scowls. Don't encourage her, please. You're both acting like morons. Actually, I think I have a setting wrong. Yeah, let's put the XP to max so I don't. So it doesn't put me off uh, while it uh, plays out. You mean meow, uh, meow, meow runs? <laughs> I turns her back to on me, then resumes eating her breakfast. She stabs a fried mackerel with her chopsticks with a bit too much strength. Her shoulders stiff. You are so stupid, okay? I look much, much cuter in my swimsuit than Cosmos does, and I'm not half the try hard she is. You eat your words when you see me. Really, I'm looking forward to it. I have to shake Cosmos off my own, then begin to eat my own breakfast. As I do, I glance about the soccer bee assembled around the dining table. I already seen Cosmos in her bikini. I think I will probably wear the gold one she did in her photo shoot, but I have yet to see Marina, Marina Hifumi and Hazel in their beach wear. I wonder what swimsuit they picked out. 
It will probably go with something traditional. Marina will be in something expensive and elegant, and Hazel tends uh, to prefer sporty, practical clothes. Simply special speculating about it is fun. I can't wait until we hit the beach. Yep, sporty and practical. Yay, it's the uh, beach. The ocean is so big and wide and pretty. Woohoo! Yeah, so? So what? I already know it's the beach, uh, dumbass. You don't have to spell it out. We all have eyes and ears too. She doesn't have the same bikini as she did uh, in the other Sakura. But it's kind of actually the same, but they actually uh, made sure to make it a little more skimpy. As uh, they actually had it very skimpy in uh, the patched version, so they are taking a little more risks uh, with it. Did you go through this uh, remark roll yesterday anyway? Eh, my bad. Sorry if I'm being annoying, but I can't help it. The beach really does look amazing. I can't wait to go and take a dip. It's gonna be so much fun. I don't know how you, you get so much energy. Weren't you up at the crack of uh, dawn so you could go jogging? That's right. There's no better way to get your blood pumping. <laughs> I think your blood pumps a bit too much. But none of us goes to none of it goes to your brain. If it all gets uh, directed to those pointless muscles of yours. I have Pokes has an exposed stomach which prompts uh, from her a series of giggles. As a swimsuit, her two-piece bikini is bright striking blue. It favors practically over aesthetic appeal that covers quite a bit of skin. They cut out on the top of notwithstanding. I'm gonna say which one I like the most when I actually got to see each one. Alright, all in all, this swimsuit is very hazel. There's something almost tomboyish about it. Are you meanwhile this way in the same golden swimsuit she had done during our photo shoot all those months ago? It's every bit as t uh, tight, uh, glitzy, and impractical as I remember. It clings to her every curve so intimately I can't help but wonder whether it cut off the blood circulation to her limbs. It doesn't seem to be hampering her at all that much, uh, at the present at least. What's with the stomach anyway? It's so hard. I will continue to prod the Hazel exposed abs while Hazel giggles and uh, bats her away. Cut that out, are uh, you? It tickles. How can I uh, help it when uh, you have so much skin uh, on display? You're so shameless. Well, yeah, I'm a succubus. It comes with the territory. Hey, little grins. I don't see any reason to be embarrassed by my body. I worked pretty darn hard on it. But uh, even then, my clothes aren't half as skimpy as Marina's. Okay, that's uh, kind of <laughs> well, a dominatrix uh, swimsuit, I would say. True to his words, Marina is wearing a very interesting swimsuit. I think the chains are a bit too much, though. Actually, there's only one chain around the stomach, and the jewel is uh, kind of a bit much uh, earrings I can uh, allow, but uh, having <laughs> That uh, usually around her thigh and uh, her arm, that's a little bit too much. Well, technically, one piece it's so much cut out, uh, she might as well be wearing a bikini. An awful lot of marina skin is on display, not that I'm complaining, the swimsuit uh, suits her perfectly. It's uh, black with the contrast with her bone white hair and that golden ornament which hangs from her acute, uh, her dark skin. 
It doesn't look very practical. I'm not sure you could get much swimming done dolled up like that, but Marina's uh, clothes are so often packed with business suits, it uh, makes for a nice change of pace. Why am I? Are you admiring me, Hiroki? Marina catches uh, my eye and smiles, her green eyes glittering with devilish uh, amusement. Do you like what you see? Of course he does. He's a simple-minded man. He sees half a boob uh, and can't control himself. You are appealing to the lowest common denominator. And you want a little higher? Would you get up? Please, don't try to take the more high ground with me. You are even more brass than I. Ha, <laughs> that's you. I just snorts. I know why you're dressed in that religious attire. It's because you're a desperate old lady. The only way you could ever hope to ensnare your oak's heart with your saggy body is to show it all off. What was that? When her expression darkens, she takes a step forth and cracks her knuckles, which makes her retreat. Oh, my ears deceiving me. I am so old after all that do not seem to work as they should, or did you just call me saggy? Uh, what? No, I, I never said anything. But you did, are you? I heard you. We all did, didn't we, Hazel? Well, I don't want to get Ayo in trouble. I know how scary Marina can be, but she did kind of bring this on herself. Here's a small, awkwardly hands linked in her front and says, Sorry, Ayo, but you're on your own here. I ain't coming to your defense. You dug your grave, and now you gotta lie in it. Is it possible to dig a grave on the beach? Wouldn't it fill with sand again? Well, yeah, but it ain't talking about the real grave here. So Marina isn't really going to murder, are you? I wouldn't be so sure of that. She looks pretty pissed. Are you? Marina's standing face to face with Ayo now their nose is almost bumping. She sees as Ayo's shoulders that uh, <coughs> her manicured nails digging into Ayo's exposed skin and leans in. If Marina's expression wasn't so uh, foreboding, they look almost like a pair of her lovers. Unfortunately for Ayo, there's nothing lovely though yeah, about the, the aura aura Marina executing murders would probably be the best way to describe her intent. Boy, am I glad I'm not the one uh, coming under her line of fire. Marina's a good uh, five inches taller than Ayo, which, uh, who quails in the shadows looking very contrite. Are there tears beating in her eyes? Yes, Marina. What is it, my dear big sister? Did something occur to upset you? Please, Marina sighs. Don't play dumb with me, you should be only too aware of what you have done wrong. Your thoughtless words have caused me a grave insult. I cannot abide being demanded, not in the least by a little whelp like you who does not know her place. You ought to respect your elders and, ba and betters, Missy. How many times do I have to repeat this before you will listen? When a pointed nail stick deeper still into Ayo's skin, which makes her squeak. Deep. You are extraordinarily hard-headed to a such a degree, it's almost impressive. Though I praised you last night, I'm now beginning to fear you are incapable of reform. Not, well, not on your own, at least. As you can, can benevolent. Which each adjective Marina gives out your shoulders a squeeze. Big sister, I hate to see you walk in the wrong path. I want you to become a sweet, well-mannered young lady who would not cause herself any embarrassment. In the future, your poisonous tongue may offend somebody more important than I, and I shall not uh, be there to he help you. As such, I must punish you. This is the only way you learn. What? No, please, don't hurt me. That isn't fair. This is my private beach, you know. You washed up, oh, hag. I should be allowed to say what I want. It's not my fault I'm cute and younger than you. Don't take your jealousy out on me. 
I lay off my arm. Stop. That hurts. Don't. Don't. No. I. Yeah. When I drag I off uh, to an outcrop of rock, the pair dog behind it, and or soon obscure from view, with Ayo's uh, plan to cry drifts along the beach behind her. Now I wonder what Menerina's doing to her. It's probably best not to think about it. Oh, gee. Uh, that's something. I feel kind of bad for Ayo, but uh, I guess I'm glad uh, it ain't uh, me for once. Don't you think Marina's finally forgiven me? I believe so. Marina can be intense. Shall we say that she holds uh, grudges, but she is not unreasonable? Well, the swimsuit I like the most is actually Hazel's swimsuit. But uh, of course, uh, <coughs> the name I can't remember might uh, show up in a swimsuit too, so we see about it then. But she is not unreasonable. I don't think she has any issues with you at the present, Hazel. Phew, that's a relief. I was starting to get kind of sweaty thinking about her punishments. Yeah. She's not a woman to be trifled with. It's okay. Concert gives her a thumbs up. Marina bullies Ayo because she deserves it. But you've not done anything bad for a long time and you, you never called Marina old. Ah yes, that is Marina's pet peeve. She's quite sensitive about it. I noticed that, but I don't really get it. Why does she get so upset about her age? Oh Cosmos, sweet innocent Cosmos. I know you mean well, but you got to use some common sense. Most women are touchy about their age, especially when they start getting into their thirties. But why? I just say a lot of nasty things, but they aren't uh, true. Marina is older than us, but she still looks pretty. She got nothing to be embarrassed about. Maybe not, but we all have our hang-ups, even Marina. She's more delicate than she makes out. No, no Marina, don't do that. Not the hair. If you touch me like that, I, uh, uh, yeah. I uh, this dance uh, squeals uh, or carrot or cause to be. They mingle with the uh, lapping waves and the crawling birds and soon disper disperse. For a delicate woman, Marina can be awfully ruthless. But maybe she hides her insecurities behind her dominant personality. In that sense, she might not be so very dissimilar from Ayu. Is that why they always uh, butt heads? Excuse me, Hiroki, but... While pondering this, Ifumi addresses me. She's wearing a two-piece swimsuit like the uh, promised last night. It's simply design, pure white, but I think it suits Ifumi well, particularly when she's set, uh, set against her dark hair. She foregone her lenses, though. She has a pair of sunglasses that bands atop uh, her forehead. Maybe she opted for contact. They're uh, harder to lose than the glasses. Would you mind uh, applying my sunscreen on me? sunscreen for me? My skin is very fair and it burns easily. It's a hot day and I feel I will turn uh, pink without any assistance. It would be jeopardize my, uh, the many jobs I have lined up uh, if my skin were to start uh, peeling. Sure, I'll help you with your sunscreen. It's not a problem. Are you certain? Sure, it's fine. I think mean, Fumi might uh, help take my mind off Ayo and Aunt Marina and... Uh, mm, yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is they're doing. Thank you most kindly. You really are a wonderful man, Hiroki. Then I shall leave myself in your capable hands. And that's uh, the next picture. So, let's bring up the recording tool. So, I leave... That was all I have for Sakura Sakubus for this time, and so hit like and share, and see you next time. Bye bye!